Hi, my name is Chad Niehaus. I'm an artist based in Moab, Utah. I'm pleased to introduce my latest project, which is serving as the community artist in the parks at Arches and Canyonlands National Parks and Hovenweep and Natural Bridges National Monuments uh, here in southern Utah. I'll be spending the remainder of 2009, about seven months in total, visiting locations throughout the parks and creating artwork on site. I'll be interacting with visitors in places like Delicate Arch, Grand View Point, Sapapu Natural Bridge, and Cataract Canyon discussing what it means to be inspired by your backyard, what's for dinner, and how to get back to the trailhead, among other things. People travel from all over the world to experience these places of natural beauty, and I'll be highlighting the connection between wild places and artistic expression. I've chosen lino cut prints as my art form for this project. This choice is a celebration of the spirit of Everett Roos, the young wilderness explorer who created poetry, prose, inspiration, and yes, lino cut prints of the wild places of the West. He disappeared in 1934 and has captured the imagination of many a visitor to the desert Southwest. He's been a big inspiration for me. I can remember the first time I came through the Four Corners area and seeing one of his prints hanging in the hotel lobby. It's been a great journey to learn more about him, to visit his, va his favorite backcountry haunts, and to engage in the art form he chose for expressing himself. I just read a story about the possible discovery of Everett Roos's remains in Cone Ridge, which is uh, south of the San Juan River. I'm excited to hear more about this and look forward to working on the Community Artists in the Parks project while this new chapter in the story of Everett Roos is unfolding. I'll be carving the linoleum blocks on site in various locations throughout the parks. I'll then return to the park's visitor center to pull the prints. I'm making my own ink from natural pigments and oxides found on the Colorado Plateau. There'll be great reds, greens, blues, and rich browns available. The paper and packaging is all eco-friendly. The prints will be sold on site at the visitor center, and I'll gladly personalize them. Prints will be available for purchase on my website as well, moabart.com. Each image will be posted here along with the date and location of its creation. Two sizes of print will be available, uh, 6 by 8 inches, and that's $11.95, and an 8 by 10 inch for uh, $19.95. Each comes in durable packaging and can be shipped worldwide. Visitors will be able to find the date they were in the National Park and purchase the image I created that day. I've been commissioned to create a limited edition book of block prints, which I'll start working on upon the completion of the Community Artists in the Parks term. More information will be posted here at moabart.com as this exciting project takes place. In my mind, the ideal experience for the Community Artists in the Parks project is for a visitor to see me working in a place of terrific beauty, find out why I'm drawn to this place and this profession, and get inspired to explore his or her own backyard and express their connection to it in some way. Please check back here often for updates in the Community Artists in the Parks program. I'll be posting new content regularly. Thanks for your interest.